to the Bleeding Burgundy Podcast, a Washington football podcast by fans for fans. With your hosts, Jesse Martin. You want to play what? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. John Taylor. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. And Keith Gray. The king. Your majesty. And now here's your host. John Taylor. Hey everybody and welcome once again to another astounding episode of the Bleeding Burgundy podcast. I think this is number 56. Uh, we have no Manic Money Monday this week coming up because we're on a bye. And I am not going to be like every other podcast on planet Earth and say, "Where we, you think we can beat the bye, the bye fellas? You think the bye can get us? <laughs> I was going to say. But then I guess I just I was, was going right? to say. Uh, uh, you know, at least see? we didn't get the L. We're not going to get the L this week. All right, Keith is trying to process that. No. There. No, okay. You got it now? All right. He figured it out. All right. So here I am joined by my friends, Jesse Martin, and just back from the wilds of northern New Jersey, uh, Keith Gray. What's up, John? Man. What's going on, man? Hey, not much, man. I'm just, I'm mad. I'm mad. And all I want to be is mad. So this whole mad. podcast, I'm going to be mad and mad. fake outraged it things because i'm mad fake Carry on. outrage all right that sounds like, that sounds like fun. as we have seen within all of the washington sports media generating fake outrage makes for easy radio so let's do it I'm telling you what i heard that they uh they find uh danny johnson last week like fifteen thousand dollars because his socks weren't pulled up far enough and i think that's oh. outrageous that's like what? that's like half his game check right there. Nah, yeah. It's crazy how they do. I'm this. mad about that. Well, it Let is. Me go Biden. tweet about it. You better tweet about it. <laughs> tweet about it right now. As a matter of fact, the the I think the, the method of tweeting something like this with fake outrage is even if it's not true, you tweet it, you, you tweet it as if it were. So this is how you would react. This is what I would say if this is what happened. Make sure it's all caps, right? Too. You got it. Yeah. All right. So there's there's some news this week. Um, number one, I think that I, I believe is on the agenda is that there's no news. They didn't do shit. Trade deadline came and went. It's the bye week. We've got obvious problems. And Ron's just like, yeah, you know, we're, we're just going to keep driving this boat straight towards those rocks. It's, everything's fine. We're driving it to a Keith. high draft pick is what we're doing. Well, we'll... So, all right, I'm going to open up right then and there since the can of worms came up. Do you believe that they are tanking Jesse? I don't think they're tanking. I just don't think that they give a shit about winning right now. Um, Define they players, coaches, who coaches, coaches, right. but, but it's not like the players aren't playing hard. It's not like they've, the players are giving up and the coaches haven't given up, but it, I don't think it's a winning season is a, I, I don't necessarily think that's what is being set out to try to do. Um, they know they had issues. Uh, quarterback was number one. Obviously, Fitzpatrick going down totally shot them in the foot uh, for the rest of the season. It was um, the hip. Okay, the hip. Okay, good, good call. Good call. Uh, but I, 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 I mean, Ron said it, dude. It, it, and it, it's you got to be realistic right now. You have to look at the big picture uh, from everything of what happened last year to the off season, to the quarterback situation, to this year, okay? We beat bad, bad, bad teams last year. I'm talking about th they were worse than the Broncos last year. We got lucky, plain and simple. Well, all right, okay. So, Keith, take your mute off and tell me what you think because I don't even remember what the fucking question was. <laughs> yeah, I don't tanking. think we're tanking. No, definitely not tanking. I mean, okay. right. but – if anyone expected them to make any moves uh, for this trade deadline, crazy. First of all, I mean, who, we tried. Who did we they try? With? Now, who? I don't know if this has been confirmed or not, but there was reports out there that they did try to make a deal for Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, okay. Whatever. And it fell through because the, the, the Bills do? wanted at least a third round pick. And to our credit, we decided, no, that's too much. Right. You know, so Listen. there's two ways to look at that. They tried for Trubisky and they valued it properly. <laughs> Yeah, they listen. They they have no aspirations to do anything. I think that that you know, look, look, the coaches know that this is a losing season, 
and it's going to be a losing season. The players, I think, know that as well. However, that's not going to stop some of these players to go out there and play hard. And honestly, they're yeah, probably they doing still, it. They're oh, still they're probably just going to tank. They're probably just doing it so people on Twitter would shut the fuck up. Well, because that's why everybody leave me alone. Anything. I got a sack today, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's yeah. why anybody does you know, anything is so the people it, on Twitter will shut up. Like you were saying, John, uh, you know, uh, uh, about uh, the Bills wanting a third round pick. Right now, they're saving their money, okay, saving their assets to keep what they have to make start making moves next season. I mean, that's said assets. Assets. I'm assets. wondering what's in that bottle you're drinking. What's that purple stuff? This, pur- this ain't purple stuff. No, oh, not Keith. Geez. It's yeah, real Keith. alcohol. Mike's hard. (laughs) (laughs) That's like the fifth grade graduation drink. That's what you give kids when they graduate from fifth grade. Here you go. Have some Mike's hard alcohol. I eat lemonade. (laughs) It's better than that. Great drink. It's great. Better than that natty ice, y'all drink. (laughs) Natty Um, ice. uh, Fucking backwoods, Virginia losers. Jesus Christ. That's all you drink out there in Virginia. When I was 19 years old, that's all I could afford. So, yeah, yeah, I did drink it. I mean, get your face. Maybe once or twice. You guys live in the fucking sticks. Get out of my face. This shit's good. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Talking trash with some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Let me tell you something, buddy. Oh, really? <laughs> this is this is like back in the old days when I'd pour a little paint thinner and the lemonade we were selling at my stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so we did have a little bit of news this week. Montez Sweat got his jaw broke. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Any... Yeah, Montez Sweat. Well, he's out now. He can't do anything. You can't. Well, the you can't whole do... defense is out. Like, well, even when they're in, they're out. In a way, I think this could be a positive because, well, maybe not for him because he's going to get to – I had my jaw broken once a long, long time ago. But you see this little hole in my teeth right here? See that big hole in my teeth? Yeah, Uh, I was – instead of – all right, right there. Instead of being – if you have your jaw broken and they wire your jaw shut, your freaking diet consists of Similac. Sure. (laughs) They'll wire it (laughs) shut. He'll learn how to rap just like 50 Cent, and then he'll be a (laughs) rapping millionaire more than he was a football player. It's fine. Well, I, because of this hole in my teeth, I was able to put spaghetti up in there. And then just, I, I could eat somewhat normally. <laughs> anyway, so this week, I, I stabbed out and tweeted that Manny, Montez Manny, Sweat got Manny, his face. Manny, Manny, Manny. No one's going to get that from me, but go ahead. I'm glad you got it. Montez Sweat's <laughs> jaw got broken because uh, Chris Blewett hit him in the face with a field goal attempt. That's what I said. And people got <laughs> upset with me about that. And I apologize because there's no way you Chris did. Blewett could have. He did. You it, did. It, you, sweats, you, you, you what, apologize six, five? for offending people. Right. Sweat's about 6'5". That means his chin is at least 5 feet 4 inches, 5 feet 6 inches off the ground. There's no way Blewett's getting it up there. So <laughs> I was wrong entirely. Well. Blew it and get up all in one. Did they, they, they really, they really get on you about saying that? No, nobody. A couple of people, you know, gave me a bunch of eye rolls, but it's like, hey, what do you want for free? Shut up, you know. Make sure you take care of your way just as a bartender's, right? So there should be a two drink minimum for Twitter. I swear to God, and not a Mark's Mike's hard lemonade. That doesn't count. Uh, all right, so bro- a broken jaw for sweat. It's the hard black that- cherry, first of all. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to make of that. Hot damn. It's Go ahead, say to- something about hard and black. I dare you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. However, you're the one putting the cylinder in your mouth while you're thinking about such things. And now we're all off track because speaking of big, hard, black things, well, Chris Blewett is none of that stuff. Yeah, but no. he's still on the fucking team. This Who I don't cares? understand. Well, I, I, I do. I do. And it's not because uh, I, look, I, everybody with Dustin Hopkins, this Dustin Hopkins, that, you know what? He's got the same problems over in San Diego. He's got a new holder. And he's got a new snapper. So he's, he's making his kicks there. So obviously the problem was something here and with kickers, it's all up here. So now they got this guy. The problem is they fucking zero in on him. And now they see that this dude literally has a 60% block rate. I have never seen anything like this in my fucking life. And he is still here. My wife has a 78% cock block rate on me. <laughs> well, you you're, you got to go cruising in the right bars there, buddy. Yeah, maybe you try the maybe you try the, the 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 leather collar with the ring and the chain that goes down to a belt or something like that. They stopped doing that in the 80s, John. 
I'm sure I know what you. Uh, were doing there's a the, uh, the Hershey bar in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, the, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you the address. Come on, what is it? Where is it? Come on, yeah, I, I made the mistake drink after seven o'clock. I made the mistake of like going in there one night, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I thought I was going into the fucking seventies, right when fucking YMCA came out. And it was everybody was dressed in leathers, like it was crazy, nuts. So nuts. how many drinks did you have? Oh, I, I fucking went you, in. I was the. You enjoyed sitting. yourself too, did you? I was. I was how at, many did you pay for? I was at Homer. Did you go last night? Came I back was at Hershey Homer. Sports. Homer. Homer sent some memes. He's I went in and went right, right back out. <laughs> He oh, didn't go right I, back I, out. I, 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 he sat down. Look, look he sat down, ordered a Bud Light, and pinched his nipples the whole time. Stop it. He did, and and here you go with the with the grape soda. Anyway, back to the game. Chris Blewett is still on the team. Everything else about the team is still the same. Now I don't understand why there's no moves being made, especially at the kicker position. I just don't understand it. This is the thing about Ron that flummoxes me more than anything. And yes, all of you who had flummox in the pool, you win. Oh, he has this loyalty to these players that deserve none of it. What the living fuck? What is Chris Blewett? Because it's not – I don't think that he's loyal to, to Chris Blewett at all. No, he just – he made a decision. It wasn't the right one, but he still has to stick with his decision. No, he doesn't. Oh, wait a second. He, uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have why? to stick with his decision. Why, just, why, just, why make a move on another kicker? What is it going to do for why this not? team? This I, team's I, Maybe bad. stop the fucking ball from being blocked three out of matter. five Who times. Cares? Who I cares? I care. We're, we're getting you, blown out by multiple scores. Like it doesn't matter if you if you don't even try to get any better to uh, and put a product on the field that's any good. You're telling your players that they don't fucking you don't care right, well, about let me what fire happens with Chris them. Blew it and go get Jorge who played soccer three years ago. I mean, come on. Hmm. It's not a come on. See, everybody acts like there's a dozen kickers in the world, and that's not true. All right, the, the 49ers just cut a guy who has every bit as much of uh, the same stats close to as Chris Hopkins. I have no idea if that's true, but it sounded good right there. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> I, but I, the I fact of the matter this. is there's kickers out there. You don't just zero in on a guy who gets three out of five blocked and say, all right, we're sticking to our guy. You're, well, you got I will nothing. say this. Ron didn't make a mistake in cutting Dustin Hopkins. No, I he don't didn't. care what, what anybody says to me. I'm sorry, buddy. How um, silly is that going to look to keep trying I, kickers every other week? Like at this point, you know stick what? With- it's if you got a guy that gets one up there. I, I like I said to you, Jesse on a text that day. I said I'd love for, to see one go wide left, just to see somebody miss a kick like a normal person, not get it blocked. Yeah, no, true. Yeah, this block blocks are very, very concerning. Ron does have an issue of maybe holding <laughs> on uh, to, to players, uh, to, like just with Landon Collins. He, maybe he waited a little bit too long to – He waited to, way too long. To see uh, – to make, have him make that move. Uh, he does have a, a, a bit of a loyalty. But as far as a kicker goes, man, I, it's – it's we got far other concerns than a kicker, but it's, I it's believe. it's easily – it's you can you just call up a bunch of them you don't even do it yourself you say you 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 and you scout one two three and four go call up a bunch of kickers bring them in here and work them out all right for what though but, you can wait till the that? off season for what you can wait till the for, off season for what okay like i said if he had missed a field goal i'd be okay but he gets th- three out of his first five are blocked at this point, you have to start becoming concerned with your long snapper's ass because if the ball goes right back and hits him square in the asshole, <laughs> he could have internal damage that could really fuck him up. You're speaking, and in this terms, is a though, possibility. A, you're speaking in terms, though, of a fan who still has hope for the season, though. It's not That's about true. hope. I, I, I about see where hope. you're coming from. It's the, about there. competent football. That's all. You can't so, just tell your players, we're not even going to bother. We're going to put this guy out there that can't even cut it. He can't even get it past. You don't the have line to tell your players that. They do that when they get on the field. The players tell the that. coaches that. No, but that's what the, the players, you can't tell them that. You just, you cannot show that message that says we don't even give a fuck. Well, they're you doing that do by, that. Keep, I mean, they are doing that by keeping Chris Blewett, but I mean. Maybe he can. gives a better blow job than Dustin Hopkins. Maybe. This seems to make. <laughs> we, we've spent a long time. Oh, we spent a lot of time on the kicker. What, what's else next on, on the back? Uh, all right. So, all right. We already talked about Mitchell Trubisky. So. Well, okay. Hold on. Wait, wait. Um. I, I got. It's not that I'm a fan of Mitchell Trubisky. I think he was uh, taken way, way, way too early in the draft. But when he's come in 
off the bench. I think he's came came in for he the came Bills in on, against of, us. Against us, uh, he ha- did have some good games in Chicago. Um, last five, I think. When it, when it comes to uh, 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 was it Matt Nagy? I think is the uh, Bears head coach. Uh, there's yeah. issues with him. Um, it, it, it could he be parks a- in handicap spots a lot. Yeah. I've heard. <laughs> but um, who knows? Man, maybe, maybe there's something to Mitchell Trubisky that other coaches do see. Uh, but a third was way too much for him. I mean, if we can get him in the off season for next to nothing. We w- while we maybe draft a, a, a QB high high in the first round, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to to him coming here for, you know, I think he's supposed to be a free agent after next year, anyways. Sure, he's a free but I don't agent think after they, this year. Sure, but I don't think they go that route. If they're going to draft a quarterback in the draft, I don't think they're going to pick up a, a vet no. free agent. They're, they're going to trade Heineke. for one. Not right yeah. now. Right. Because if so, you're going to trade for one right now and you plan on picking up a quarterback in the draft, then you're trying to win. No, I'm talking about Listen, after, after the only, season's over with. After the season's uh, over I know. With. And I, I'm saying the same thing that after the season, like it, to me, it's pointless at that point. I mean, you, you go get Mitch because you're trying to save your season. But unfortunately, this is not a save your season type of deal, in my opinion. So, no. and, unless you you're know. trying, you want a veteran quarterback in here and, and while you, uh, uh, if you don't want to start said number one draft pick right away. Well, here's the other side of the coin. You got him. Okay. You want to bring him here. Yeah, to just, be your starter. I, you I want can to bring him here I, to be your starter. I can see that point of view. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I can't go against that because I'm a firm believer that I don't like these rookies getting thrown in there. And, and yeah, I think you're hundred percent right on that. And that's what, that's what I'm talking about. I, a lot of these rookies, a lot of these rookies have talent coming out of college and there's so much pressure for them How's your patience perform. for that, though? I my patience will be fine. The fan base, most of the fan base, uh, they don't. Listen, I, I've waited not, thirty not fucking years. Of it. I, I, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't. Saying, it doesn't have to be. It, it doesn't have. He, he does. It could be six games. You know, let him get his fucking feet wet. Let fucking Trubisky or somebody else start six games. But putting them in there right away can fuck with their psyche because they're they're expected to perform like right then and there you know and and most of these quarterbacks don't work out no they don't because it's such a transition but here's the other side of the coin like i said if you try to make a deal for trubisky right now it's because you don't want him to hit free agency and you intend for him to be your starter next year and going forward he's only a fifth year quarterback right he's he's a young guy and his last few games in in chicago were actually pretty damn good they were so I think that if you are bringing him in here as a free agent, which I think is completely on the table if they try to go after him and he'll be a free agent, you're going to try to bring him here on a multi-year deal and you're not going to tell him, oh, well, in a month, we're going to draft a rookie that you're going to give way to. They're going to bring him in here to be the starter. That's, I guarantee you, part of the plan. It's either him or Marcus Mariota. They tried to make a deal for him last year too, right? They tried to make a trade for him. What, one good thing about this is they're not trying to overpay for, you know, these second tier. Not right now. Right. Right. But I, I think that's, that's what I what... like, and people are getting impatient about this, but listen, you know how many upset people, uh, how Twitter would probably break uh, if we were to, were to bring in Mr. Trubisky. Uh, I mean, people would hate that. It wouldn't idea. matter who we brought in Tom Brady, you bring him in I don't care because you know what, when it, when it comes to the quarterback, I don't give a fuck about anyone's opinion on Twitter. They've been uh, so it, wrong more than they've been right. Keep trying that, until they get like, something right. Exactly. Uh, you know? Mike's and, hard lemonade and, makes you a fierce motherfucker. Absolutely it does. Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> I like it black and hard, baby. Black and hard. <laughs> so anyways, what – now, you know what? Fuck, fuck them. I don't listen to anybody on Twitter about quarterbacks no, anymore. There's no, very keep, few people Keep throwing that, them darts until one sticks, man. Seriously. Yeah. And, and, and listen – just because a guy sucked over here with the Bears doesn't mean that he would suck with another team. I, I, I'm a firm believer that that quarterbacks will succeed depending on the system and yes, if the system 100%. fits their Look skills. At Ryan Tannehill is a prime example prime of that. Example. And I think right. that's why the reclamation market is going to be right. a much bigger thing going forward because a lot of these guys, like we said last week, Jesse, when when these young guys are drafted high, they go to bad teams. They yeah. can't get it done there. It's very rare that they turn things around there. So the second trip, they've already had all the failures. They've already been through all the freaking rigmarole. Now they get on a team that's a little more balanced, that's built a little bit better like the Titans were 
Yeah. Hey, you know, Barron. I saw a stat this morning. Speak of the Titans. You know, the last time that the Titans won a game without Derrick Henry as their starting running back. Guess when it was? It was about five years ago. 2015. Yeah, six, six years, years ago, ago without yeah yeah they have not won a game without him since that's amazing of course they probably haven't played too many either without him <laughs> yeah adrian well, peterson they picked up know, adrian they'll, peterson there'll be interesting questions to see you, you know how tannen hill does without him. yeah no you're you're absolutely right about that because derrick henry is a huge part of that offense that offense runs through derrick henry so it is going to be interesting to see uh what what happens but I mean, even so, man, this offseason is going to be pivotal when it comes to quarterback. I would not mind a Marcus Mariota. To be, I wanted him last, last offseason, well, to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you now, the way everything is right now, and if you don't think that this team cares about what the fan base is saying in these past couple weeks, you'd be 100% wrong on that. And I'm telling you, with a new team name change, they, they want all the bells and whistles to, in order to flip the fan base back onto the positive side. They're you know, going yeah. to go all in for a quarterback. It just depends on which one. Is it going to be a vet or is it going to be a, a guy drafted? You said that you tweeted that this morning and it, it made me think, God damn it. If they fucking fuck this year so that they could synergize their maximum money-making ability on a fucking rebrand with a new quarterback and a new launch just so everything could be shiny man fuck this team if they did something yeah. like that I, why I would you think any yeah. differently though why would you think why? any differently this is because what this team has been for 20 years well true that's they, what dan snyder they, does they, they the dangle the they they dangle shiny shit in front of win. the fans to get them to open their wallets. It's what they've always done. And uh, yet, I, I, I see we'll, we'll them. bitch all season now, but we'll go into the off season and all they got to do is dangle. Oh, yeah. Someone. They don't even have to dangle much. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was all-time Pro Bowl four years strong with the Cincinnati Bengals. He's going to be awesome here ago. on the uh, football look, team. Look, hold on, hold, hold on. I do not think that's Look's happening. I, I do Mike's not heart think lemonade that really that, makes you a bastard. That they, they are fucking badass as well. They are know. meaning to lose uh, just to fucking hit rock bottom to be able to come up. That's not what they're doing at all. They're, no, they're, they're not tanking. There is, that's, you can't not the case. It's, 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 that's no, not they're the not case. tanking, but here's and, the thing. Here's the beautiful thing. They don't need to. No, they, no, they don't. No, they're going to lose. They're going to lose naturally. No, no. And you're right. And um, it, yeah, it, and it just so happens that it's a rebrand. It's not like oh, there's Ron Rivera sitting in the office. Ron Rivera wouldn't stand for that shit. No, he's he's not going. No, to. but you also know though that a decision on a quarterback is going to have to be made. Oh well, yeah, the, that's oh sure. Yeah, I, I mean, for him to yeah. Keep yeah. Oh, absolutely. I don't know that it's a rookie, though. I think they'll go the reclamation route because I don't think that Ron's going to be able to have the patience. We'll see. Well, he might have the patience, it, it, but nobody it could else be, will have It could be a rookie in a, in a reclamation. Like, like we I were agree. saying, fucking throw the that. darts until one sticks. You know, yeah. it's just say, I, I've fallen in love with Malik Willis, man. I, I love that kid out of Liberty, but he's not going to be ready to go year one. Why not bring a uh, a Marcus Mariota in? Why not bring bring a, a Mitch Trubisky in or somebody like that and have him waiting in the fucking wings? And guess what? If one of those two hits, well, guess what? It can turn into an Aaron Ro Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers situation. He can fucking sit for a couple of years, you know? I, the I only mean, problem with that, though, is you had a guy sitting that was actually watching a Pro Bowl quarterback as opposed to someone sitting watching uh, Mitch Hall Trubisky. But but if yeah. Mitch uh, 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 Trubisky turns it's, it's, into sure. a Pro I mean, Bowl, I'm just you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it works out, if one of these, if they it works out that way, See, the thing shit. about the, the the thing about the sit a couple of years though. Nowadays, with the rookie contract, you really don't. I mean, you have a lot of leeway with you what you five can do years. With a rookie. Five, five you got years five years the first round. Man, Set them yeah, just one. Uh, that's all you yeah, need. Yeah, maybe one. That's maybe what I would do. It depends on who it is. Because you look two at would be, like Joe Burrow. Two Joe would Burrow be ideal, be but we're not in a league where we're patient enough yeah. for that. Yeah, but say, say uh, Marcus Mariota comes in here next season, leads us to a, uh, a eleven and five record. Uh, we we were eleven and six, and we win a playoff game. You think that there, and we have a first round quarterback. You think they're going to bench Marcus Mariota? No, for the first round quarterback. No, I wouldn't. 
I don't think it we're going to have a winning season. Depends on what Dan tells him to do, because Dan will come. I'm just in saying. I'm, I'm just giving. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying if that were to happen, you know. I don't right. think we win a. I don't think we have a winning season until Ron's fifth year. Okay, you might well, be right. Good. You could very well be right. Mike's and people and people need to be prepared for that, man. I, I mean, we we've been saying it all fucking off season. Well, and here's the problem with that, Jesse. Expect everything. No, you're you know? right, and I agree with you 100. percent Here's the problem with that. We've got a coach that's changing his story. Okay, for when he first came in, this wasn't a rebuild. He specifically said that that this wasn't a rebuild. All of a sudden, now we're going into year two. We're terrible. All of a sudden, we're in a rebuild. Well, no, I'll, I'll go back to his, his, everybody's in a rebuild. His until opening, they win. his opening uh, uh, press conference when he first became the coach of the Washington Redskins before the name change, before everything, he he talked about. You have the the military takes five years to rebuild the culture. Rebuilding a team would take up to five years. And then we started winning, and that totally that flipped the script right there. And you saw that after that playoff game. We're like, <laughs> he's like, damn, we got that fucking uh, um, first place schedule right there. Those sh- should send everybody messages that hey. <laughs> expect a fucking uh us to back up a little bit yeah, backing up is fine but you know what if you know we you all steps, wore, you got a good chance of chris blue at hitting you in the ass we just <laughs> have such a we just have such bad luck because yeah, we truthfully have, with a seven and nine record we should not be playing this type of schedule this year and right I said that like, last well, ron, year yes. ron said this is and a i said list. that this i don't care what ron fuck ron i'm telling you what i said mike's and hard what, lemonade makes you a bad right <laughs> And I'm telling you what, what I said was, is that this schedule was going to test whether we were a competitive team sure. or not. And yeah. as you can see, we're not even close. No. So, you know, again, getting ourselves wrapped up in the mob mentality on Twitter, where we all got caught up in Everybody the hype of all these, at, you know, mob mentality is fun when in the moment, though. Sure, you know you're right about sure. that. Break right yeah, a window. Man. Who cares? Yeah, and there's this fucking just goddamn go to Minneapolis. No, no, it's like it every season. I don't know why I expect right. any. So, different. it's well. I now you're all pessimistic. My God, Mike's hard lemonade. If you want to be a pessimistic asshole, I'm pessimistic pull, hold, every hold the, year. Hold the, hold the bottle. Mike's up. don't got to do that for me. This team fucking sucks every year, yeah. and you guys know they it. Do. Uh, you're you know, right. We, you're a hundred percent right. Into, it, it no, happens. And then we came like into clockwork. this year with our big hard cocks. Mm-hmm. thinking that we were a good team and that, I mean, there was people out there predicting 10, 11, 12. I mean, even when we went through it, right. Without even, <laughs> yeah. right. John. Even when we went through it, we're like, that's a win. John's that's like a win. 14 yeah. wins. And yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I, like, you know what? I've been saying 10, but after we did that, we added it up. You were like, you got 12. I'm over here four. telling people the fucking giants are going to be competitive for the division. Listen, Hey, you're not the only one. Listen, listen. Listen, I you're know, not that one tells one. you none of us yeah. know shit. Even we're stupid. Right. We're, we're stupid. We're stupid, all of us. and we should shut up. And there we go. We, we should shut our... the fuck up. We, we should shut down shut the football up. Twitter too, because they all should shut the fuck up. Hundred percent <laughs> right. Hundred percent. The right. best thing about being stupid is you never know when to shut up. So continuing with you, Keith. What do you yes. think? Who's your offensive uh, MVP for the first half of the season? I don't give a fuck. He doesn't like, give a fuck. Mike's hard lemonade. Makes John Allen. Not give a fuck. Oh, you offense. said offense. Offense. There's really only one, man. There's only one Who? person. That is Terry. McLaurin? Yeah, I mean, that's... I'd take two. I'd, I'd give a nod at Chase Roulier. Yeah, Chase yeah, Roulier. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, that sucks so bad, man. I feel he's so bad. The, the only problem really is, is no well. one will give him the credit because he's O-line, and a lot of people don't uh, pay he, attention, especially he, to the, the center position. He was a, a fucking warrior, man. I feel so bad. Uh, that he's he out looking there, all he'll come. Yeah, yeah, he was I'm so good, so good. Yeah, listen, I, mean, I, I gotta give uh, um, uh, Eric Flowers some props too, man. He's he's been yep. doing really well, uh, you know, him alongside with Chase. Uh, Everybody along they, the line, they they they've been doing. Their line has really been one of the very very few bright spots of this football team. That's right. They give Taylor Heineke the time to throw the ball high or behind a guy or low or out of bounds on fourth down. <laughs> all right so okay so uh all right i i we're already so we're all agreement there on offense so obviously terry he's been playing his ass off because he's always playing his ass off um i say chase rulier you're going with uh oh you went with john uh, allen for offense. Uh, uh, um 
Yeah, uh, Eric Flowers. Right? Eric, Flowers yeah, Eric Flowers, man. Flowers. All right. Yeah. All right. So who's your defense? I, Keith, you said John Allen. I Jesse, mean, you said John. I'm saying yeah. John Allen. Yeah. So yeah, he's John definitely, Allen. Uh, Everyone else can kick rocks. You, you know, him. he signed that big contract on the offseason yeah. and he's living up and to it. And it's paying off. And, you know, he, and, and, and a lot of people don't nest a lot of players. Sometimes they coast a little bit after they he's signed a leader. big try. He is. And listen, dude, this guy is proud to be on the team. He sure. always has. Hell yeah. He always has. He reps the team even in the offseason. And then on top of that, this guy got his big contract. The team sucks. They're losing, but he still goes out there and he plays hard 100%. He wants to be here. He wants this team to, to thrive yeah. and yep. he wants to be a part of it. He is a appreciated homegrown player yep. that, you know, that's going to be with us for a long, long time. And he even yep. said it when he signed his contract, he, he's, uh, you know, burgundy and gold for life. I remember that tweet that he put out and, uh, those are the players that you just want to root so fucking hard for. And, and that's yep. why you love this team is for, he's for been paying people. off too. Yep. And my message he's to Chase Young in the off season is just shut the fuck up. How yeah, about no that? Shut up. Go, I don't go even to care. Do fucking, uh, do, go to do fucking OTAs. Yeah. Go to OTA dickhead. Cause this is what happens when you lose in this <laughs> kind of like, shit get ready happens. to fight with a guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> even though I don't think I'll grab his ankles. Even though that that that, that, that <laughs> probably didn't affect what's going on this season, the fact that it happened. So how about this? Goat balls uh, for the whole season can go to Chase Young. 99 can kiss my ass. I don't want to hear nothing about being sack leaders. I don't want to hear yeah. nothing. You're terrible. Your sophomore season, you're terrible. You better get out of this sophomore slump, and you better come in next season and play hard and do Fucking me a favor. Just shut the fuck up. He needs, no, be, he needs to move shut in. the fuck up the booth. He needs to move in with John Allen so John Allen can can rub Seriously. some man off on him or something because All right. that, that didn't sound Stop right. Stop being rough. trying to be the goddamn fa fan favorite, too. How yeah. about that? Stop coming over at training camp. Don't come over and get all the attention. Head Just down. Go do your Head, job. Go do your job. Then go back inside. Don't fuck the fans. Fuck us, okay? Because I don't want to see you over there Make fucking up your smiling, mind. <laughs> hanging out with Montez Sweat. I don't want to see you over here doing this for pictures and shit. What I want you to do, Chase Young, is I want you to be what you were in Ohio State and then you're also your rookie year, and I want you to shut the fuck up. How about that? Why don't you take that W chain, right? Twist that bitch sideways, stick it up someone's ass, even yours, because what you're doing right now is nothing to me. So that $86,000 gold chain, you might as well go pawn that bitch and get something out of it. Because right now, what we're not getting is sacks. And what you're not getting is a contract when this is all said and done. If you don't fucking shut the fuck up and start getting sacks. How about that? Was that Keith's corner? I think that's pretty good. That's not Keith's corner yet. Okay. He's got some more things to say that I would bet you after another Mike's is really going to come out tough. Um, you know, just I would kidding, love Chase, to just see you. them. I would absolutely love you. I think you're amazing. <laughs> you're just having a tough year, buddy. <laughs> Keith's I'm having, just a, having fucking a tough day. year. The other side. You're he's got to go back year, against Chase. the left tackle. Uh, he's just he's in, he's on the opposite of where he should be. I don't care what anybody wants to tell me. He should become. You know who the real Chase top. is? It ain't Young. It's Chase Ruye. How about that, Chase Young? He's the real Damn. star of the team. Damn. Hold him. Who does he? Who, I guess it, take he your eighty-six thousand dollar chain and give it to Chase Ruye, bitch. He deserves it. <laughs> yeah, man, that is a certified fan ambassador talking to you, and he is coming directly from the fans. By the way, did you hear my 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 submission to our fan ambassador last week about the goddamn Super Mario Brothers sound effects going on <laughs> on the stage? And did you notice that the Colts have the same goddamn thing? Look, I think it's you, see like that, thing, you see that you see that Colts mascot in the end zone. You see that stupid looking my little pony, big fat thing. That's what we <laughs> need at our game. Is that man. what you think we need? Yes, not not to I win. That's we just what need that. Was. Like a guy like me could put on. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna get a W. You wanna get a Bro, W? Yeah. Why don't you a take w. off the I hard hat with the pig ears on it fucking and take w. off the McDonald's looking freaking? At least I'm the only fucking winner in the stadium. Something. <laughs> Listen, you put put a W on me, bro. I would have these fans legit cheer. Like they'd be cheering for me. Fuck the team. They'd be like, yo, that w. guy is awesome. Who's dude, in there? And they would never know. Make a superheroes, dude. 
they're not hard to do. Go get some goddamn. Uh, yes, spandex. but I did. Make a... I, I did file your complaint. I did read it. I filed it, and I basically stated that we could just do the sounds of my voice. Thank you. I think that's yeah. one of the reasons that I think would work much better. I think that's one of the reasons that the team refuses Touch to go forward. Damn. I mean, it, it's it doesn't happen all that often, anyway. So you guys right. also that's, like that's probably why. weird that they even focus on that. Like I heard that in the scene. I didn't even think twice about it. Like well, I see, seriously, I thought I thought, I thought it was somebody's phone at first the first time that i heard i thought it was jesse's phone and i moved about eight inches to the left i think when we lose this is what we do we just sit and hate everything yeah i'm hating on you i'm not hating on you at all. yeah you are you fucking talk shit about me and mike's black i'm not talking shit about you i'm just suggesting that you have become a real hairball of a man with mike's lemonade flowing down your mike's lemonade i've had a week off and the team fucking sucks Okay, and All I right, can't so get on anyway. Twitter, and I can't get on Twitter and talk about it because then I get fucking text from everyone. Oh, you can't do that, Mister Ambassador. Oh, you can't do oh, that, you know Farmer what? Keith. What a, haven't I taught you anything? There's two words you use, and that's all you need to say. It's fuck off. And if they don't, then they've already been told to fuck off. You, you don't have to say anything left. There you, you know, go. Just gotcha. fuck off. Just get rid of fuck that off. shit. All right. That's right. That gets rid of that shit. All right, look, um, we're gonna take a real quick break right here, uh, and then gotta pay the bills. Back, we're gonna- well, yeah, but this isn't really a commercial, I guess. But yeah, oh. this is our pay the bills segment. So, um, and when we come back, we're going to talk about some general NFL and our picks in which Keith is trouncing us, trouncing us, trouncing. All right, we'll be right total. back. The Washington team came out to play a game of football, as some might say, but I've seen football, and brother, this ain't it. I don't claim no experience, but what I'm seeing don't make no sense, and everything they touch just turns to shit. Ron Rivera says he's got us a secret plan, and they are doing what they can. Meanwhile, we're hoping that whatever we will see is something a little better than Mitchell Trubisky. Put the defense onto the field and immediately they begin to yield like giving up a touchdown. It's pretty plum. They stopped them once and now they stopped them twice. Everybody thinks that's real nice. On third down they get beat just like a drum. I know why they got raided by the DEA. Cause you can see it in their play. Defense has a drug problem, I wouldn't shit your brother. They get drug up one side of the field, then drug back down the other. Now, I don't mean to be crude or crass, but when Heineke goes back to pass, all of his receivers best be ready. Cause he throws too high or he throws too low, and wherever it goes, it goes real slow, and it happens cause his arms made a spaghetti. Lately their score is under 14 points a game And you know that's a goddamn shame But putting points on the board really is a trick With a noodle arm quarterback and a kicker that can't kick Now I don't know what they're gonna do And believe me brother, neither do you But once again we look like a bunch of schmucks it's another season on the down and out, and if there's one thing that there's no doubt, Washington football fucking sucks. <laughs> Washington football fucking sucks. Can you hear me? John, hear you. yes, we can hear you. You missed your calling. You should have been a singer um, in uh, 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 not whatever the fuck you do nowadays no i should definitely be doing what i'm doing he's a that's what engineer. i should be doing. no i'm not you're an architect <laughs> no i'm neither i'm a graphic designer and i happen to work for a really cool fucking job that has me drawing so, fighter jets all the time so you, oh, you're you're yeah. a fighter jet pilot no okay. <laughs> no i'm a graphic designer that works for a fighter jet program oh, no i'm just fucking wrong yeah. Shut up, but bitch. what i get to do is fucking on. great yeah that's right don't you forget it that's so, right. all right, uh, in the NFL, we have some fun this week. Aaron Rodgers with his fucking COVID-19. Jesus Christ, what a mess. <laughs> you know, people are screaming to the high heavens, and it's like, uh, is this your first trip around the sun? Because talent gets a pass. NFL MVPs don't get in trouble like normal people get in trouble. Yeah. Or, or like players with lesser ability get in trouble, okay? 
So, you know, the penalty he's playing is he's out for the next two weeks, I guess. He tested positive. Oh, yeah. Keith, do you know yeah. what's going on with this, or were you at, ten- on vacation? Yeah, no, no, no. I know what's going on with it. I'll just tell you. Again, I don't care. I don't care that the guy lied. I don't care that he said he got immunized as opposed to vaccinated. I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because I don't care if people are vaccinated or not. And I don't care that people's opinions are, oh, you don't care that you're you're not protecting other people's health. Look, like I said before, when I talked about this whole vaccinating, you know, vaccination shit, at the end of the day, it's, it's the person's responsibility to decide what's best for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm and not here they to never made that it mandatory in the NFL. Sure. I'm not here to determine what's best. Am I vaxxed? Sure. Did I want to get vaxxed? Eh, that's questionable. But again, for my own personal reasons, because I knew that I was going to be taking a trip out of the country, that it would be a disservice if I did not go and get vaccinated. But do I trust that? You know, this vaccination is the end all of end all. No. And here's another reason why. Now you're telling me to go get two more boosters. Fuck you. I'm not getting any more. Okay. I got sick from the second one that you gave me. I don't want to get sick anymore. I don't want to keep going and getting boosters. I don't want to do none of that. I just want to live my life. But when I'm living my life, I just want to worry about me. Right. And people are like, oh, but how dare you not care for others? Give a fuck. Okay. Like, seriously, like, Like, it's not that I don't care about people, but at the end of the day, we all have to be responsible for our own fucking health. Now, well, I think that the issue really will with this is for the for a football fan is that he lied. Here they are. I know I was getting into that. Like he lied and then, you know, he put he's out for two weeks. Well, and then because he caught it and then he's putting his teammates at risk. Like, I don't care. I'm not for him. Okay, but I'm not a Packers fan. I don't care. I don't care that he's out for two weeks. I don't care that he put his his teammates in risk. His teammates don't buy me Christmas gifts. I ain't got their phone well, numbers. Well, I understand. It's we're all not about talking you. about we're not talking about each other's <laughs> families. So what the fuck do I care if they're over there fucking touching booty COVID with each other and spreading booty COVID everywhere? I don't care because at well, the end of the day, and we've got players that are unvaccinated, bro. Like. People right, which is what's part be... of the problem. They they just played against him two weeks ago. What if he gives some of that to our players and now our players? I mean, granted, it doesn't matter if our players miss two weeks, but that's the whole thing that they were trying <laughs> to do all year. Right, that's the whole. Th- Maybe they could give it to Chris Blewett. He can well, miss a few weeks. The facts, the facts of the matter is, it, you know, about it, people in their health. I do. It, it was like with our with uh, I, I work for for government and we have be responsible. I, I wear a. So, a green badge. This is my badge right here. This green right here shows that I am vaccinated. Those who are not vaccinated have to wear a blue badge. I have a little bit different feeling upon this because I have a, um, a, a, a no. disease that that my, my immune system is down. So I would want to know if that person is vaccinated um, that I'm next to. Um, the fact Fair. that he lied about it like if my um, guy, what am I, what am I, uh, I run a crew if one of my crew members faked his vaccination card or whatever, like, uh, you know, so he's been doing whatever. He, and I don't care what they do when they're off time, who gives a shit, but you're not letting me know, you know, you're telling me a lie. And, and so they're, they're thousands of miles away from me. I could care less. I'm kind of with you on that, whatever. But the fact that he lied, this is more about the Packers organization as a whole than it is to me giving a shit about what but if it was if this was taylor heineke i'd be all right with it get his ass out of here just get somebody else out there but it's just like for for someone like an aaron Rodgers, just to ball face lie i mean he's not well liked anyways as a person here's here's the thing about the lie as long as while he was following the protocols, he doesn't have to be vaccinated. He's, there's different protocols yeah, that he has you don't to follow to. as an unvaccinated. And as long as the Which Packers and them were done. following that, yeah. then I don't care whether he tells the media his status or not. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know that they were. And I don't really think that people anybody are should not be delving wrong. into that. Right. People we should are not assume wrong. that they did the right I mean, thing. I'm not up in they're arms not, about it. But I would also say like, this. They're not like wrong a shitty, for, for a shitty person thing to do. You know what I mean? Right. 
No, right. they're not wrong for their take that he should have been at least following the protocols of wearing a mask right. and so on yeah. and so on. As like a Kirk human Cousins being, isn't vaccinated, and, but he follows the well, protocols. Well, and, and props to Kirk Cousins and, and who was and the other managed one? managed to stay out of it. Well, and he literally basically, at least he came out and he spoke the truth in the beginning. Listen, so I can understand it being a conversation with people and I can understand why people, you know, and and again, Jesse, going back to what you said, I can understand your point of view, you know, in this is because, you know, uh, 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 you're you're, uh, heavier susceptible, you know, to possibly catching it and something bad happening. And I totally get that. And I I, I sympathize with that. And, and, And again, earlier, you know, I just look at this whole situation to where I just can't like, I can't stand people who are fake outraged as if this is affecting their entire life. And and that mob, that liberal mob just shows up and they Mm. all like glue with each other and they all like hate on the guy. But then the problem that I have is, is the same fucking people that have this problem the minute that man joins this team, if he did, oh sure, oh, they're, they're in love yeah, with him. Sure, absolutely, fans fans. They're stupid. We, we I, love I, him. We love him for his football skills. We're just not happy with him for his off the field. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Just shut up. No, I get I'm that. saying they're, that there's probably at least a 67 percent probability that whatever Jesse's autoimmune disease is, he got it in that leather bar in Norfolk. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. Oh man, I just I, right. I'm I'm just tired. I'm tired All of right. the political. I'm tired. No, of, and, and that's the whole thing. This is non Nobody's here for that. We're so it's a fucking politicized. It just is. live your goddamn a... life and shut yeah. up. Yeah, just live your life, but you know, there just be mindful of other people. I don't care. I We're said the point right now. Society. I don't care if you're uh, vaccinated or not. That's fine. If you don't want to get it, that's on you. Whatever. But just let me know if you're vaccinated or not. At the end know? of the so day, I what can, this boils, so I can take precautions. You know what I mean? Correct. Right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm vaccinated. If it doesn't require a mask, I'm not wearing it. Exactly. Like, me too. If it requires a mask, I'll comply. Because yeah. I understand and I Me get too. it. I'm right there with you. If, if I don't have to wear a mask, I'm not going to wear a mask. But I still, you know, it, uh, I'm not going to be sucking face with somebody that is unvaccinated. Or, but to be know. angry with people because they don't want to take it because they don't trust the science is fucking moronic. Because listen, when COVID first uh, became a thing, the first thing that they were saying, because we knew nothing about it, first of all, they're like, it could take two to three years before a vaccine is effective. And then what? A vaccine comes out six months later. It's the media that causes these problems sure. to begin with. Sure. Right. And listen, I was in tune with the tv with the news with the twitter with everything paying attention to look at because it. we all this was something new to us it, like, well, a, it, 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 affect, it affected everybody right you know? and so I does, remember, you think does well, Odell beckham jr have anything to do with that with what <laughs> any of this well doesn't he pass or something <laughs> i don't know but he's he a free a... agent right did he get released there was, yes. there was the release he, final yes uh, and today's yeah. his birthday by the way so they, right. they were like happy birthday it's his birthday or... yes yeah, birthday <laughs> wow i it's can't objb day i can't stand that guy <laughs> so here's my question all right because we got to have the 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 question at least thrown out there obj to the washington football team some no. people are all over it no, some people are all over. I would hate it. That would be stupid. It would be the dumbest thing you could do. I mean, doesn't make sense. You're, you're, you're tell just us why it asking... doesn't make sense, Keith. Sorry. All right, let, let Keith tell yeah. us why it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because we're. It's not like we are a uh, quarterback away from winning games. We're not a receiver. Right. And away. listen, yeah. the guy. The, the, anytime the guy has a problem, it's usually because he's not getting the ball. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you ain't getting. It. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're not getting it with Taylor yeah. Heineke, so yeah. it just it nope. wouldn't work. And then people are like, "Yeah, but it's a it's a build to the future." No, it's not, bro. We no. are so many wide receivers and quarterbacks away from a good future. Stop it, OBJ. What what, what that would do is pour gasoline on the dumpster fire. That is absolutely. That's, absolutely that's would yep. talent aside you know he's like he's like terrell owens he's a complete diva but he's got the talent to back he it up shits he shits on he's, people's chests like have we i know he's a weirdo that? like eh, he's, he's a weirdo he drops like steamy carlos is as for fun like, steamy <laughs> carlos that's <laughs> that's a new one <laughs> <laughs> <It's> the steamy <laughs> carlos <laughs> <laughs> the steamy Carlos. That's a good one. 
All right. So the point being, I think with OBJ is I don't care whether he's on on people or not. And when I say he's like Terrell Owens, he's like Terrell Owens with about half the talent. He's got a, a lot of talent, but he ain't no T.O. Cleveland steamer I, is what I, I thought it was called. Cleveland steamer I always thought was done on a glass table while somebody laid underneath it. Uh, and the Danny was, Thomas, if you ever knew who that was, was in this Cleveland steamer. Yeah. Yeah, I call uh, it a steamy car. The Dirty Sanchez is the one that, yeah. Yeah, that's that. Right, that's the Dirty Sanchez. And what, Jesse, what did they teach you in this leather bar? What do, what do they call like a... A steamer, <laughs> a steamer, Al- Alvin. What's the next topic, you fucking dicks? Oh, uh, let's see. The next topic is what did Jesse do in that gay leather bar when he was in Norfolk? I wrote it this morning. I can't see how he's avoiding. He's avoiding the conversation. Uh-huh. All right. So I guess we got some picks to do here because Keith is whooping our ass, and right now the score. Now remember, we we started in week three because we were lazy like that. So Keith, you have fifty eight. Jesse, you have 48, and I have 47. Oh, All of us fuck. completely choked the fucking log last week. We got, like, Keith, less than half of them right. Keith yeah. is just cheating. Well, he's just picking no, the obvious. No, last week, oh, my God, dude. Some of the picking games, the I, I've... Yeah. Now, you should pick the obvious. It works. I just oh, always only sometimes. It. Only I don't sometimes. even put any thought into it. Our ass. You guys ask me. I don't even know who's playing until you guys tell me, and I just pick. All right, what, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? All right. Hang on a minute. I got to get that piece of gum out of my mouth. All right, we got the Raiders and the Giants. The Raiders, who are down a wide receiver after a oh, God. horrible car accident. I thought we did this right. on Fridays. It is Friday. Oh, you're right. That's right, Mr. Vacation Boy. Mm-hmm. All, All right. right, so what, did you go to Newark for your vacation? New Brunswick. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Newark. Hey, yeah. Uh, All right, Vegas so Raiders, is a three-point favorite. For the Raiders? Yeah. On the road. All right, so the Giants are at home. I'm going with the Raiders. Yeah, me too. Help me in. All right, yeah, the Giants can't get out of their own fucking way. And uh, uh, they had Saquon Barkley as having been exposed to COVID, but then they found out it was a false positive, and apparently they got false positives all over the building there. Oh, so uh, who the fuck knows? But now he's he's back, but I don't know that he's going to play or not. What's your guys' uh, opinion? I, I I do believe that you guys will, you know, that they'll cover. But you think that this is going to be a uh, multiple score game for the Raiders? Yeah, I do. I, do. I think oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's they're going to win. It, I I think probably Easily. by by nine or ten, somewhere around there. Yeah, something like that. They're going to whoop the shit out of them. Unless say. Derek Carr sometimes ha- has an off game, which yeah, it's a giant. Giants just suck too bad. They do. They suck badly. Thing it probably would have been more if the Raiders were playing at home, but yeah, you might be right. The real shame of it is Daniel Jones does suck, and he can't even That's suck true. good enough to suck well. They suck badly. Fuck you, Daniel Jones. All right, so uh, we're all on the Raiders. All right, Saints and Falcons, the Saints who surprised the Buccaneers last week, and the Falcons who surprised themselves by getting beat by fucking Sam Darnold. Did you see Dar- Darnold get hit at the end of that game when he oh, got yeah. wobbled off the fucking field? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you see the way his head went? Yeah. My God, yeah. it looked like a fucking big goddamn square Super Bowl bouncing around <laughs> in a little room. <laughs> the Falcons are a six. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The Saints are a six point favorite. Even with Winston out? Even with Winston out. Taysom Hill is coming back. Taysom Hill is coming back. How did you cover me all thrilled? I don't know if I'd be. The difference between him and Seaman, Simeon, is that he can run. Other than that, what's the difference in the? Uh, they, they had been rumored to call Philip Rivers, get Philip Rivers out of retirement. Too rumored. That's I never heard that one. I'm All going right, so Saints. Who you picking? I'm going Saints still. All right, Jess, or right, Keith, who are you picking? Saints. There you go. There you go. Uh, I feel like I'm like your uncle. Good, good boy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> good boy <laughs> all right so the bills somehow come up with the easiest fucking schedule in the goddamn world they're playing the seriously week. uh you like know a 14 and a half point favorite like 
they've been a double digit favorite for like four weeks in a row now. And, a it's, game, right? and it's and it's only going to continue to keep going because mm-hmm. of the division that they're in and, and the teams that they're slated. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Bills plus it's the points. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm taking the Bills too. All right, the Browns and the Bengals. Now this one's a bit more tough to catch. It is. Uh, the Bengals shit the bed last week against the Jets. Sure. And did. the the Browns Cincinnati is the, is a two and a half point favorite in this game. They're at home. They are at home. I'm this picking is... the Bengals. I think they're going to bounce back. I think they've got talent. And now uh, that the Browns are done with that malcontent OBJ. I think I'm going to I'm going to go with the Browns, man. I I think we haven't heard the last uh, you know Browns are have been struggling, uh, but I think they get it together. And I can see why Cincinnati is the favorite. Uh, uh, Burrow and Jamar Chase is a dynamic duo, uh, but I think the Browns defense is is got something for them. So I'm going to go with the Browns. The dynamic is- duo. The Bengals? All right. Well, come on, Keith. Yeah, look, Jesse put some cliches together, Keith. Come on, can't you? Tell us that they're going to show up and be ready to play and that this is the kind of game that those guys go out and win hard. Give us something. All right. Rounds to the Super Bowl. All right. There so you you're taking the Bengals. Uh, all right. The Patriots and the Panthers. The Panthers, who, as we saw last week, Mr. fucking Charlie Brown and his big block head get knocked around, which, again, I thought was pretty funny looking when it happened. But uh, the Patriots, man, they went out and beat San Diego, or excuse me, L.A. They're pretty good right now. I mean, they're four and four. Patriots. Yeah, yeah, they're four and four, but with a rookie quarterback and winning some games against teams that you know you maybe not, and they stayed tight with the Cowboys. I guess I'll go with Patriots. I don't like this game, but I guess I'll go with Patriots too. Shit. What do you got against this game? I just think there's two not great teams. It's an either or game. Yeah, I think it's a coin flip to uh, to me. But I mean, Bill, I'm going coach again. Bill Belichick. I'll I'll put my money on Bill. Bill Belichick knows how to make uh, Sam Darnold see ghosts. So I think he's going to do it again. All right. So uh, the Broncos and the Cowboys. Cowboys are at home. The Broncos we saw last week are just a one hell of a tough team. I mean, man, that was a team that we gave them all we could, and we couldn't dent them. Although Chris uh, Blewett dented a couple face masks with Cow- a Cowboys, Cowboys. Plus points, 10 point yeah, Cowboys are romping in this game. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater is going to wish that he could play us again. <clears throat> this is an interesting game to me. The Vikings are on the road to the Ravens. The Ravens are coming off a bye. Ravens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going with the Ravens as well. Yeah, shit. I guess so. Ravens. What's the line on that game? Ravens by six. 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 See, that's because Kirk Cousins is so up and down. How the fuck did he only have uh, last week? Uh, you know how they only have uh, that, that 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 kind of game. He's on national television. It doesn't do him every time. Yeah. All right. The uh, now this is a game that if you made your kids watch, you probably should have child services called on you. Uh, the Texans are at the Dolphins. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, so. You know, I've already heard. Ebron Taylor starting. Is he? He is. Okay. Wow. wow. Hey, we found something. Going to go with the Texans if Tyrod is starting. Is he starting? All right. Well, I will go with the Texans if they are starting. Not. Yeah, Dolphins. I'm going to go with the Texans if they're starting. You're taking the Dolphins. Now, you know, Dolphins are extremely intelligent. But if you get them on dry land, you can whoop the shit out of them. They are nothing. Use you go ahead. Use your intellect, Mr. Fucking Dolphin. All right. So just just a tip, just in case you're out in the wild and you get yourself in trouble. All right. Uh, anyway, the Chargers are coming. This line, east. this line, the Eagles. Char- uh, Chargers are only a point and a half favorite. They're coming uh, back east again. Haven't they gone back and forth and back and forth now? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm going Chargers all day. No, I don't care. I don't. I don't trust the Eagles. I don't. They, they ain't shit. They scored forty four points last week against the goddamn Lions. God damn, the Lions are goddamn awful. I wish we could play the Lions. I don't because we would really find out something about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> right. I don't. I, I the picked Lions. the Lions. I picked too. the Lions to win. I did too. Week. I did too. 
All right, so who are you picking, Keith? The Eagles or the Chargers? Keith picked the Eagles against the Lions last week because he was going on vacation and he wanted some sex. Don't lie. (laughs) Unfortunately, it didn't happen, boys. That's what he said. Hey, honey, I picked the Eagles today. (laughs) (laughs) And I've got a couple of Mike's hard lemonades in the cooler. (laughs) Who are the Eagles playing, you assholes? (laughs) The Chargers. Chargers. No, they're not playing our assholes. They're playing the Chargers. Now, let me ask you this. Jesse, when you went to that leather bar in Norfolk, did anybody play your asshole? Just checking. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I probably go Chargers. All right, the Chargers. All right, now speaking of Jesse at the uh, leather bar, the Packers are playing the Chiefs. Uh, I know, I, can see, I can't Aaron, help it, man. I keep uh, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgerless Packers against the Chiefs. Yeah. The Chiefs are going to win. The Jordan Love, right? First round well, pick, right? Let's see what he's got. Even with Rodgers out, I would or out. Even if he was in, I would still pick the Chiefs. Really, I think the Chiefs are going to bounce back this game. Okay, they have really been inexplicably bad and it's not they like have. you know it, they've been bad they haven't been like playing against teams that are giving them their all and all of you know just get them at the end it's they fucking make mistakes like crazy right yeah. now my homes keep saying oh, we're gonna bounce out of it soon but really most of it's me <laughs> 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 all right the cardinals against the sorry ass hapless piece of shit burlap sacks called the 49ers the 49ers are fucking favored in this game. How the hell is that happening? I don't know. Two and a half. Is Kyler Murray hurt? I don't think so. Fucking, are you serious? The 49ers are actually favored in this game. Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals all day. Sorry, hang on a second. Somebody is coming to my door and the dogs are going berserk. Uh, They're outside, so I will go ahead. Kyler Murray is not hurt. However, he participated in a 5K the other day, and uh, he fell inside his water bottle. He was trying to get a drink, and that plastic straw was just a little too big for him. So so he had to call 911. Can you do jumping jacks under the bed? (laughs) All right, Mike's hard lemonade. Does he slip through the drain? Corny jokes. Well, I did this slip through the drain a couple weeks ago. Every time he takes a shower. The eyebrows are killing me. Mine, yeah. Who you got, who right, you so, got Keith? Uh, who? I'm taking the Cardinals. Like, yeah. Cardinals. Oh, you started the Cardinal. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the Titans and the Rams. The Titans. This the is gonna. Uh, if Derek and we were playing, this would have been a really good game. But I'm going with the Rams. Rams are a seven point favorite. I would pick At the home. Rams no matter what. I pick the Rams, uh, even though they don't have Deshaun Jackson anymore, which I don't think they care about. No, I don't think but, that matters. Uh, so you're everybody's on the Rams. Yeah, one big play the whole season. Yeah, I think it was like yeah, first first game of the uh, the year too. Um, they have too many weapons for a guy like him. What, what, yeah. the, what, how many balls do they have on the field? One, right? So you can't. They, and they, they just picked up Von Miller too, which is yeah. kind of wild. I don't understand. You know, we saw Dan Snyder do this for years, and he yeah. fucked up and failed at every turn. But these yeah. guys, they're going to do it, and they're going to win. Yeah. I don't know how the the cap must be. It just doesn't exist in L.A. I don't know. I guess they want them to win the Super Bowl because everything's rigged. All right, I believe we have a Keith's Corner this week. Do we not? Oh, we got one more game, the Bears yeah. and the Steelers. Uh, the Bears. It's kind of a Steelers. shit show game, too. I'm going to go with the Steelers. They're six-and-a-half-point favorites. The one thing I would like about this, and Money Night Football, please please understand that this is a good suggestion, and maybe you should consider doing it. Have the Steelers wear those throwback uniforms where they look like convicts with the yellow and black stripes. Oh, the, 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 bumblebee? the Bumblebee? The Bumblebee. And then have the Bears wear those fucking stupid-ass blue and orange throwbacks uh-huh. with the vertical stripes, so it'll it'll really fuck with everybody's televisions while you're yeah. trying to watch that shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bears and Steelers, who are you picking? I got the Steelers. Yeah, so I got the Steelers, but I got a question for you guys. If you okay. had to pick and, and you had to go with, obviously, you're picking the winner, and yep. you had to go with, uh, you know, what team scores the higher, you know, highest points with that win, and you were collecting the points, would you choose the Raiders and Giants game? Raiders, obviously, is the W, or would you, would you choose the Steelers versus the Bears? Who do you think is going to? The highest point total, yeah, uh, from one team, yeah. in that from the in winner, that grouping from the winner. So probably. yeah, so like let's say if it's oh, from the know, whole thing, I take the twenty-eight. Count. If it's twenty-eight to ten, 
that. I'm just game. talking about out of these two games. Yeah, so yeah. It's 28 to 10. I get 18 points. If it's Raiders versus Giants, Raiders win 28 to 10. I get 18 points out of that. Got it. I got you. Um, Which is the better pick- game? Of those two, Bears and Steelers, uh, yeah, I'd go Raiders. Yeah, yeah, I think I would too. That was my initial. That was I my think original. I would too. But then I kind of got a little nervous when I saw the point spread. Can you take the Cowboys Broncos? Because I think that's going to be the one. Um, no, I can, but again, this is survivor pool. Yeah, I, I would. I would probably oh, I do the Raiders, man. And yeah. I would rather take the Cowboys in Week 15 against the Giants. Gotcha. All right. So uh, I didn't get your pick for the Eagles Chargers there, Keith. What is it? Chargers. Coming into the link and winning. All right. Well, then now I do believe, unless there's anything left there, we do have a Keith's Corner. Everybody, gather round. Gather round. It's time. Yeah. So I want to reiterate that in Keith's Corner, I'm not speaking as Hog Farmer Keith or Ambassador Keith. I'm speaking as this Keith. And, Keith. I, and I'm going to tell you right now, in the beginning of the season and the off season. Um, I got threats from an individual and um, uh, just now this season I, or, or this point in the season, I'm getting more threats and I'm going to tell you right now, do me a favor. You want to come threaten me? That's fine. Um, I laugh at people when they do this. And obviously that first situation, um, Jesse, as you recall, no one was there, right? No one was there at the tailgate. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh yeah, I'm going to come see you at the red zone. But no one came except for the people that wanted to hang out and have a good time with us. Yeah. So uh, in this scenario, I'm not going to mention names, but anybody who says that they want to come see me, please make sure you do. But when you do see me, make sure that I'm out of the hog farmer gear. So come and see me after the game. Cause usually what I do is I take off the gear before I get into the car. Right. So that way I can take my two and a half hour drive. Um <laughs> And if you get pulled over wearing that, you really don't know what's going to happen. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the, the cop's going to think I'm a pig fucker and, you know, you sure look funny there, boy. Right. Um, so my point is this, I don't care if people like me or not. I really don't. And, and, and I get tired of people thinking, oh, this guy cares about what people think of him. I don't, I, think that's I don't obvious. care. Yeah, right. I don't clear. care. Uh, at the end of the day, you don't pay my bills. Right. No, like, for sure. Like you, 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 we don't exchange Christmas gifts, you know, and I hold a lot of value into Christmas gift giving, you know what I mean? And like, you don't give me christmas you are gifts. a christmas gift liker i am a christmas yeah. gift liker yeah, so my point is this is these empty threats about you're gonna come see me or you're gonna come do this get a fucking life okay At the end of the day this is twitter okay this is podcasting we're talking about a shitty ass football team right i don't really have time for this unnecessary bullshit Childish and i know bullshit. that you're gonna listen to this podcast that is the only reason and i say that only in caps because i know that you listen because you make comments on twitter regarding our podcast and they're indirect but i know that you're going to listen so here's what i'm going to say to you my friend i think you think that i was going to come on here and start threatening and saying i'm going to whoop people's ass no just do me a favor wait until after the game when i'm outside of the hog farmer gear and make sure you come see me and you tell me all the things that you were going to tell me in these DMs, because I've got one thing that I'm going to tell you. And then I've got one thing that I'm going to tell everyone else about you too. Okay. So listen to this and listen to what I say and make sure that you really comprehend the things that I'm about to say. Okay. Because if I drop what I know about you and the things that you're saying to me in my DM and I drop what I know about you, I'm going to expose you for the human being that you really are, which is a piece of shit. Now, so now when I say that, right, that's not a threat. Okay. I'm just speaking facts. I'm telling the truth. Not a threat. It's a promise, motherfucker. Leave me alone. That's all I'm asking. Just leave me alone. I'm too old for this shit. Just to say, for myself, I'm too old for any of You're, shit. And I'm too old for this too. And this is why I'm saying, and this is why I'm saying, all you got to do is just leave me alone. That's all I want to do is be left alone. People seem to not want to do that. People seem that they want to instigate me. They think that they're getting me upset. They think this and they think that. Just leave me alone. Okay. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care that you think I'm fake. Uh, because I think of something about you, but you don't care what I think. This so motherfucker is one of the fakest bitches on the goddamn internet. The guy that you're talking to, one hundred percent. You know, there's one way to avoid all this shit. Funny, there really is. Funniest thing about it is he's fucking 
fake piece of shit. Correct. And then correct. And, and I appreciate that, Jesse. And I'll leave it at that because like I said, all this drama isn't necessary, but I can't really address it on Twitter and I can't really, you know, address it, you know, any other time. So I will address it on this podcast. Sure. All I'm asking for, I'm not asking, I don't want to fight anybody. I'm not interested in that. If I have to, I have to, but I'm not interested in it. What I am interested in, I'm not even interested in anyone coming see me. Unless you're going to come see me, have a good time, and want a beer, and hang out, cool. Hold on. I'm, in, I'm confused. You're interested, but you're not in... I lost track of what you were interested in and what you're not interested in. I'm interested in being left alone. Oh. We're in, oh. our, we're, we're in our fucking 40s, okay? So then I must apologize, because I just didn't leave you alone i'm not you know you were interested in that i thought you might have not been interested in being left alone but then again like i said i got confused yeah hey, here's, and that's here, okay i completely he, understand i just want to be left alone i just want people to leave me alone stop trashing me on alone. twitter for just some personal shit that's not even alone. necessary just leave me alone like i i don't instigate you i don't say anything about anyone in particular i just stay to myself whether you agree with me you're mad at me because of this or that i don't care like i don't care and you shouldn't either just leave me alone like, and don't you write wanna, some nasty shit listen, in this yearbook. Actually, if you want to trash me on Twitter, fine. I don't care about that either. The threats is not something that I deal with. Because the threats, this person knows my address. This person knows personal things, you know, about my family and things like that. And I'm not interested in the whole, I'm going to come see you shit. Like, I, I have to deal with that with another guy. I don't want to do it. Look, just leave me alone. But, don't see me for nothing. I don't want to talk to you. I want nothing to do with you. I just want to be left alone. I just want to root for this shitty ass team for the rest of the year. I want to fake raw raw for everyone just because you know I'm you're the ambassador. This, I mean, no, forget the ambassador. I don't even care about the ambassador. Like, I'm not putting on an ambassador show for advocating. anyone. It's the hog farmers. That's what's important to me. Okay. The hog farmers working with these group of guys who have been nothing but, you know, super cool with me. They understand where I'm coming from. These guys are great people. And the fact that they took an outcast like myself and brought me in, I just want to be, I just want to do that. And I just want to be left alone. That's it. Now, just do you think it's outcast or undesirable? Both. Both? Okay. I'm Could just trying to figure out which one, because I never felt you were an outcast, but sometimes you were undesirable. And most of the time it was when I knew you didn't wash your feet and you wanted to go out or something. And I was like, no, 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 listen, no, both, no, listen, I'm a troll. Like people the, know the that I troll. Thing. And then this year, all of a sudden, I'm raw, raw. Look, it's the role. It's the same thing that this guy did when he was a member of. Can something. I make a message to these people? Who gives a fuck what he wants to say, what Keith wants to say? Who gives a fuck if he wants to cheer? Who gives a fuck if he wants to, to fucking bitch and holler who fucking cares right i don't i don't understand it's a Where jealous, the fuck it's a, get off it's a jealousy with this fucking shit that when you're in your fucking 40s bullshit? you're you're in your 40s you're an adult you have kids you have a fucking family Seriously. and you're you're Dude. doing this shit it's like creating wait, burner accounts before you're 20 wait, wait. creating burner accounts wait, wait. and getting my you DM. fucking yeah. grow up I, like, who the I, fuck's got time for that like grow the fuck up i don't ever have these problems on the internet because people the if they up. ever have anything to say to me that i really don't like i just say fuck off and that's the end of it yeah you probably they can yell it. all they want they're not going to hear another my two problem words out of though me. listen i'm not innocent in all of this and i don't pretend to be i'm just but this nobody year, said you were new we know what kind of a year, bastard you are exactly but this year i've left people alone like i haven't I, I don't personally trash anyone i just stay to myself that's right. And with you guys, so all I'm saying is just leave me alone, man. Like, dude, I'm 42 years old. This is not like I'm 20 and having an internet fight. Like, this shit is just so lame. So, in Keith's corner, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. So, leave me alone. Would that mean that today for this internet fight, Jesse and you, and I are your corner guys, right? Yeah, well then wave the white flag because I or I, or the towel yeah, throw because in the I'm towel, done. Yeah, I'm done. Like throw. It. I don't box. So I don't know. Is it a flag? Is it a towel? Just be, what people, they just, throw in the just, towel. Just, just leave me alone. If you're listening, if you're listening, just grow the fuck up, man. Just grow the fuck with two up. Fucking kids, man. I don't have time to be. And people are gonna be like, "Oh, he's backpedaling." No, I just don't Who care. Who cares a shit? Who cares yeah. a fuck? I mean, honestly, if those he's words come out of your mouth, backpedaling. He whatever. was. 
he was the most negative guy and now he's just so fake it's because i i'm helping a charity so i have to be a certain way shut the well you know in all honesty look man it used to make my day fucking really go down the shithole when they'd lose but I, you can't, how can you fucking have that much passion anymore you know they're gonna fucking lose all right. right and i hate to say it that way but we are so numbed by ineptitude from now i i just I, I couldn't care less what they're gonna lose i am actually surprised when we score a touchdown you know what comes out of my mouth when we score a touchdown it used to be touchdown now it's we scored a fucking touchdown <laughs> yeah <laughs> holy shit we scored a touchdown yeah. Only five more to go to catch up. So and the other yeah, thing man. on Keith's corner too is y'all stop being losers and blaming everything on Jason, right? Shut the fuck up. Y'all know that it's Dan Steiner. Uh, end of day. Simple as that. It's Dan Steiner. Dan Steiner has made all these the stupid losers decisions. and stupid Leave, people they, on Twitter they, they, is like the reason why I don't get on it anymore is because fucking people are stupid and they're losers if, and they're fucking trash, man. Even I mean, if I've had no interaction with this guy either, right? I still would be the same thought if you guys think that this guy's doing it you're fucking stupid the thing about jason is he's come out and he's said a million times that he has nothing to do with the football team and the reason why everybody's mad has everything to do with the product of the football on the field jason's here they gave him a very small dustbin and put him behind an elephant that shits incredibly all right it can't stop shitting and they said okay here you clean as much of this up as fast as it comes and he's doing his the best. best of luck yeah right Whatever. i i still think that whoever it is that's in charge of fucking putting together all of the game day every bit of the game day is just a moron that's never seen what this is supposed to look like yeah they really need to do some restructuring but listen i think that this is all learning experience so hopefully things are different next season and the thing that sucks is is like i'm already talking about next season i'm already focused like you even mentioned that you're like, halloween hey, it's before thanksgiving and we're talking right. about the draft like we, the we have good old days to- Right. Like, it's like we have nothing to look forward to, like everything. So that's just like, like, why well, I don't even have the energy to argue with people. Like, I just don't care. Like, so Twitter has been such a cesspool for the past two weeks that, like, I don't even feel like getting on it because I read what people say. And all I do is roll my eyes. Like, I can't roll my eyes I, any further in the back of them. my head. Yeah, you can't answer all of them. I don't so even you, try you to. Don't. I look at like, them and I'm just like, here we go. Like, shut question. up. Jesse, if you could roll your eyes in the back of your head, what do you think you would have seen when you were in that leather bar in, in Norfolk? <laughs> That's all the time that we have for today on the Green Burger Podcast. <laughs> you fucking bitches. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going right. to get a burner account and start blowing you up, John. <laughs> You'll get the two words I give to any of them. Fuck off. And that doesn't even happen that often. I just don't get to that point last question before we go jesse all right how many more games are you attending at the stadium before you just stop going i'm going to all of them you just are because i mean i don't think anybody will buy them from me to get my john we need to start doing an over under on when uh uh jesse when leaves. y'all bail out i look over to my right my one. man is gone now, and now it was like there, the third quarter. You, could prob- you could probably make some money off that <laughs> See, my man was like gone. Other- I was like, either he's beating the traffic or he's pissed, and he can't beat the traffic because there ain't nobody in the stadium. Yeah, that's true. You have to that's look true. at it in a way like the old Bullets fans used to have to look at it. Oh, we can go and see Michael Jordan, but you know, next week y'all get to see Tom Brady play. That's pretty that's, fucking exciting. Well, yeah. That's pretty that's exciting. I, listen, you know, that's, that's worth I'm going to see. Yeah, was, you get to hey, see Russell Wilson play. See Tom Brady once, so right, right. You're gonna get to yeah. see some. Yeah, well, uh, well, you already saw Daniel Jones play, so you gonna go to that <laughs> Monday night game, Jesse? Yeah, I'll be that's, there. Yeah, at Seattle. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. Are you going? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I just thought you'd skip out on it because it's a weekday. No, nah, I I got it planned out where uh, uh I'm gonna. I mean, uh, a guy that I brought last time. Um, uh, he he works with me, so we're gonna skip out, leave work early on Monday, and then then take to that Tuesday off. I, I've never been to a monday night game so it's it's something to get off my bucket list here if you really want to make a a good impression though bring like some tulips don't bring roses everybody brings roses but bring some tulips i mean my nose is going to be so far up jason wright's ass anyways i don't i don't know how you can see the game frankly with him sitting on your head like seriously but you know his booty smells good what can i say Oh God! We All should right, probably let's, let's, go right. Let's now. end this shit. <laughs> this, this is totally. Wait, what? This is totally like completely. <laughs> it like, reminds him of Rusty down at the club. All Jason, right, so right, that's I the know end you're of listening. That. I know you're listening. I didn't really mean it. I didn't really. Yes, mean he did. It. I did.
So are we getting together on Monday? We're going to do a show on Monday, or are we going to chill for the well, Friday? Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do Friday. Let's, yeah, let's do Friday. Let's take it. Let's take Fuck a, these uh, fans. They don't deserve us on Monday. <laughs> now, shit. we were told today that we are the arbiters when it comes to who should who is stupid and who should shut up. So next week, everybody gets a pass for the rest of the week. Your stupid yeah. people can talk all they want because we will not tell anybody to shut up on Monday. On Friday, except, though. Except for you people in the Heineke Hive. You need have, to shut up. Yeah. On Friday, though, we will have a list of the stupidness that is on Twitter. <laughs> we have a list of we gonna have a list of the stupidness and we're gonna be conversating about right. it right here on the goddamn bleeding murky podcast. Fifty nine percent is almost sixty. Almost. That's almost sixty. Hey, y'all love my math lessons. That sounds, so you gotta go. I, I gotta leave this shit show. Goodbye. All right, we're, we're out of here. See you later. All right, yeah. Say your thing. Hail to the shitty ass team. <laughs>